So for a few minutes, just for a few minutes, allow me to entirely get way too deep into this and the impact and the messaging behind this trend. Ben, 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 ben. Or what I feel may be the insane interpretation of the messaging behind this trend. I feel like this is the first time in a very long time a global event such as the pandemic has unified the human experience regardless of if you're a billionaire, a millionaire, homeless man, lawyer, accountant, chemist, drug dealer or stripper. Of course, let me start by saying I do not believe. I do not believe they all felt the pandemic the same. I'm not saying the doctor and the stripper felt it the same. I'm not saying the homeless man and the millionaire felt it the same. That is not in any way what I'm trying to say. However, of course, what I am saying is that it's an event in which everyone has to deal with the same factor or like the same issues within their own way and the challenges such as isolation, a massive spike in mental health issues, GBVs and domestic abuse can be observed throughout the socio-economic hierarchy. Input the mask. I feel like the mask is a symbol of everything I just said. The loss of or the loss, sorry, of that interpersonal interaction at the workplace, the closing of your favorite neighborhood coffee shop or breakfast cafe, not seeing family or friends for an extended time, and the hyper-aggressive relationship with members you live with on a day-to-day -day basis, constantly seeing them, sipping from juice, taking a shit like you just see them constantly. And on the other hand of the spectrum, absolute solitary confinement. The full head covering mask almost felt like a symbol of the individuation. What is the individuation? Someone in the back asked. Well, the individuation is a state of decreased self-awareness and self-evaluation within a crowd, usually serving the objectives of the bigger or larger crowd and less of the individual desires. It can prompt behaviors that would otherwise be seen as immoral, inhumane, distasteful or simply in contrast to one's morals and values. Looking at where we are or where we were at different points throughout the year, some periods definitely more drastic and severe than others, individuals weren't seen or paid attention to as individuals and as a result, we also behaved within the social parameters of said group, whether that was following guidelines or protocols that we may have personally disagreed with or attended protests we weren't too passionate about, a study I remember vaguely, very vaguely, from psychology class was soldiers from a German organization during the early 1900s. I'm not saying the name for obvious YouTube reasons. But you should understand who I'm referring to. You should have an idea of who I'm talking about. Many of the soldiers stated that many of their actions were towards a greater purpose or serving their organization and nation, but not tethered to their own morals and belief system. They blended into the group, making the group their new identity they are associated with. And, of course, this can just be a load of horseshit. This can just be an excuse for immoral behavior because you were part of a group. But we saw this a lot during the pandemic, or we, we've seen this a lot throughout the two years, whether it was rioting, looting, uh, protesting, whether it was just taking a test that you didn't agree with, whether that was following a protocol that you didn't necessarily agree with. We just kind of adopted this group think mentality, which was um, productive because we needed things to get back to a form of normalcy. But all this to say, masks were definitely the biggest trend of 2021 because simply put we all had to wear it. It, it it was something that we didn't expect to follow us into 2021 but it did and the integration of kanye west or like the incorporation of kanye west's style or i would say the margella style or the margella aesthetic into street fashion streetwear whatever you want to call it i don't care was an interesting occurrence and i do believe that of all the crazy talk i just spew 
there is a little bit of um truth or there's a little bit of unique interpretation there to the reasoning or the the messaging behind the bag masks kanye west is building a regime army of high peace that's all for this video i know i went a bit batshit crazy in the last few minutes but i was having fun you know i was i was having a little bit of fun i can't lie but i do genuinely believe that one of the biggest trends of this year was the dystopian innovation of the mass primarily influenced by margella but popularized by kanye west in the last year and a half i know i never made the vetma video that i post about but i'm still working on it so i'll release it eventually but apart from that this has been another video by nighttime made in trinidad and tobago thank you for watching well it may be trinidad just now but there's a political issue for another time thank you for watching